Am I the asshole? For firing an intern because she wouldn't stop hugging people? Throw away. I manage the internship program at my job. We have 6 and 12 month internships. This post is about a woman in the program, I'll call her Hester. I noticed Hester hugged her classmates a lot. It was something I brought up in our one-on-ones because it seemed excessive. She didn't seem to like that feedback but didn't say anything. Around December she tried to hug me at a company function. Her review was the next day so I brought it up again. Saying she needed to keep her hands to herself, that this was a workplace and not a social club, and reminded her that a lot of people, including myself, do not like being hugged. She argued with me and said it was how she greeted people and shared a connection with them. I told her she needed to find another way of doing so. She got sulky and I don't feel like we came to much of an understanding, despite my efforts to talk through it. I told her that this would be the last time I would be willing to have this conversation with her. A new intern program joined us a couple weeks ago. On Monday, two of them came into my office and wanted to talk about Hester. Apparently, she had been constantly hugging on them despite them both telling her to stop. I apologized to them and also had some conversations with the teams the interns worked with and this had been an ongoing problem. Wednesday I brought Hester into my office and told her that she could no longer be part of the program. I explained that we had talked about this twice before, that she was making people uncomfortable, and she appeared to not be picking up on workplace norms. She was not happy about this and ended up needing to be escorted out. Yesterday and today I've been getting calls from her parents and her professor saying she needs this internship and that they don't think it's a big deal and I shouldn't have fired her for it. They haven't explicitly called me an asshole, but have definitely implied it. Not the asshole. I don't see that you had another choice here. You did give me a laugh about how weird and wrong it would be if one of my work colleagues tried to hug. I'm uncomfortable just imagining it lol. So, she was told to stop more than one time, people complained about it and once you fired her she needed to be escorted out. What more was she supposed to do for you to not even consider being an asshole? Not the asshole she is others problem now, especially since it could have been solved so easily. Not the asshole. She was crossing boundaries and did not care. More than that, she did not care that she was invading other people's space and making them uncomfortable. Her desire to hug people does not trump other people's desire not to be touched. Her behavior was unprofessional and should not be tolerated. You were right to fire her. Her parents and professor need to get a grip. If Hester were a man, I am sure they would get it. Not the asshole. In a workplace environment this is called sexual harassment, and Hester's future employers can face legal trouble if they do nothing. The fact that Hester is being given basic instructions like you do not touch people without consent and can't follow them is beyond problematic, it's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Not the asshole. Unwanted touching is unwanted touching. She was warned. Not the asshole. You didn't have a choice. People she tired to hug asked her to stop and she did not. You warned her twice and she continued. She must learn now that she's not allowed to ignore the request of others that she not touch them and learn that she must take direction from superiors. Hopefully, she learns from this and matures. ETA you do not report to people outside your organization on employment issues. You do not report to the parents of employees and it's inappropriate to discuss employees with others including their parents and professor. Even if one were to take the stance that hugging people at work should be okay normal, multiple people are asking her to stop hugging them specifically and she's ignoring their wishes. Her need to connect with people shouldn't supersede someone else's right to their own personal space. I don't think it'd even be a conversation to be had if the person in question was a guy which would be equally unacceptable. You gave them ample warning, not the asshole. Apparently, she had been constantly hugging on them, despite them both telling her to stop. What she's doing is sexual harassment. It doesn't fucking matter if her parents and professor don't think it's a big deal. She has repeatedly been told to stop and has ignored this to the point that it's interfering with other people's ability to perform their jobs comfortably and efficiently. Not the asshole. Not the asshole this kind of coaching on professional behavior is exactly what you are supposed to be learning in an internship. Instead she demonstrated zero listening skills or boundaries, violated sexual harassment policy, and then has her parents and a professor? Which just blows my mind try and run interference. Welcome to the real world, kiddo. Not the asshole. What she did is sexual harassment, plain and simple. She was warned about this. She continued not only in general, but with people that had specifically told her that they themselves didn't want it. I mean, if the team members were okay with the hugs, that would be one thing. 
but they told her to stop as well. Not the asshole. Any unwanted touch is bad touch, if she did not get that well that is why she lost the internship. Not the asshole. So she was sexually harassing people and she got let go. F around find out. Not the asshole. You already warned her twice and she still would stop, even after other people also told her. Started work in an office with a hugger. As she approached me, I told her I don't like hugging CPTSD. She continued to approach I put my hand up. She backed off. A week or so later, she startled me by hugging me from behind. I panicked turned elbowed her in the face. She wouldn't even speak to me after that. It was win-win. Not the asshole. She was warned twice. Multiple people told her they didn't like her hugging them and she kept doing it anyway. Gotta grow up sometime. Not the asshole shouldn't even need an explanation. Tell her it's that or a sexual harassment lawsuit. Not the asshole you gave her a chance to stop, too even. You can't just keep letting her make people feel uncomfortable, you did what you had to do. Not the asshole. Her behavior is unprofessional and unacceptable. The workplace is not a place where you hug your colleagues. Her actions alone are enough for her to be fired. Hester's behavior is actually made worse as her boss and colleagues to stop. I hope that this is what you told her parents. I'm a corporate setting, she would be fired for sexual harassment. Inappropriate touching is covered under that umbrella. You did the right thing. If she and her parents don't get it through their heads that she is wrong, she will experience this over and over again. Not the asshole, but do not discuss employee issues with anyone other than the employee ex or your HR department. The parents were totally out of line when they called you. The professor may be an exception for discussing her workplace actions, but they are not the ones who would be in legal trouble if she is allowed to continue. This woman keeps hugging people and she is setting you up for a harassment problem. You told her to stop, she didn't, she's gone. If she needed the internship so bad, then she should have followed your instructions. You should call her up and fire her again for having her parents call you. That's ridiculous. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. This is called sexual harassment and she was refusing to stop even after being talked to. You did the right thing by letting her go. If they keep calling saying she needs to work, simply remind them she was let go for cause and ask they stop messaging you. Not the asshole. Block her parents and ask any of the professors if they'd like to be the one responsible for allowing harassment to continue in the program. She was told by multiple people, not just you, that they were uncomfortable and asked her to stop. She didn't. She fafo. Not the asshole she can't continue to behave this way and expect to hold down a professional job. If the others in her life have not impressed this upon her yet, you may be doing her a huge favor by teaching her this lesson before she gets fired from a paying job. Not the asshole. She sounds unbelievably entitled as others have said, she sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen. And. A 22-year-old's parents calling an employer? Good lord. Not the asshole. This is inappropriate behavior. Had it been a man doing this it would be an HR issue. She was redirected and ignored it. I also do not like being touched, especially if I farted recently. It's weird. Not the asshole. And thank you from the millions of us for whom random hugs or any form of uninvited touch is an extreme trigger. I still remember the first time I said no to abuse and it worked. Thank you for saying no for all your other employees. Nta. It's a simple rule in a workplace environment and life in general, keep your hands to yourself. Not the asshole. You handle this properly, clearly she has some kind of psychological obsession with hugging. There are also cultural norms at play, I lived in the USA for a long time and they are a nation of huggers, I often found it uncomfortable. Not the asshole. Sorry but if people don't like their personal space being invaded, and she has been told repeatedly and carries on then she has got to go. If she had a misdutch situation then she could be fired for sexual harassment, and you could be fired or warned for enabling her behavior. Not the asshole. The woman needs to learn boundaries. Maybe she will do better in the future. Probably not if she is such a child she has mommy and daddy calling, but maybe. Not the asshole. X200B. You were right to fire her. You needed to protect the other employees from her assholery. X200B. You were not able to wait any longer. Buse the next step for these other employees would have been to file charges for sexual assault, and then it would have been you knowing and not acting. So you did the right thing, and you had no other option left. Not the asshole. 
She is acting inappropriately in the workplace. She was reprimanded and refused to comply. She needs to learn proper behavior. If you fired her abruptly without warning, I think there would be mixed reactions in this comment section. But you did your due diligence of explaining exactly what behavior need to be corrected, and she failed to do so. Great job managing on your part. Imagine if this was some middle-aged dude giving people unwanted hugs. Skeevy and completely unacceptable right? The fact that she's young, female, and possibly attractive doesn't change the fact that it has no place in the workplace. Not the asshole. Not the asshole is this a internship with people with special needs or something that might prevent a 22 years old from understanding hands to yourself? If not, then she was given clear instructions and boundaries, but chose to ignore them. That is her own fault and her parents and professors need to stop coddling her. Not the asshole. Maybe fine if she had people she'd become friends with in the workplace who welcomed it, but hugging everyone even after some people asked her not to is potential grounds for some kind of essay complaint. Sorry, but you gotta go. Not the asshole. She needs to learn proper behaviors for an office. Nta. If you are told to stop once, but keep doing it it's considered harassment. Unwanted touching and hugs are considered sexual harassment. If she got a warning, then another. Next, it's time to leave. Three strikes you are out. Sexual harassment lawsuits do not look good for any company. There is no need to have that liability burden for the company. DBH, it's not even the hugging that is the problem, it's her not following directions. Her supervisor officially told her that something she was doing was inappropriate in the workplace, and she felt her own feelings superseded that. Not the asshole. A grown woman couldn't follow rules, was told to stop by her boss and co-workers multiple times, and made everyone uncomfortable goes crying to her parents and professor when she had to face the consequences of her actions. She definitely needed this wake-up call. Not the asshole.